Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to create custom error messages for data validation in Microsoft Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So here I'm using the same template from the data validation 7 tutorial and I just want to show you how you can create custom error messages um, from that and then how it can be useful and the importance of it really. So what I have here is a box for um, someone to enter their ID number and I'm not allowing a space to be put before or after that ID number. So what happens if they put a space before it or after it is you get an error message. But the error message is not descriptive. It does not tell the user what they did wrong. It just says the value you entered is not valid. A user has restricted values that can be entered into this cell. And the problem is going to be is, uh, is, is that if the user doesn't realize that they entered a space, they may just see the text that they entered and say, hey, that's right. I didn't enter anything wrong, so what's the problem? And this can cause a lot of confusion and frustration. And that's really why you need to have an error message that is descriptive and tells the user what they did wrong. So let's go ahead and cancel this and create a custom error message. The um, error message, or the uh, shortcut we're going to be using is the data validation alt DL. It's going to work in all previous versions of Excel. And in case you're wondering, this is the formula that we used for the uh, data validation to prevent a space being entered before or after the uh, values entered here. So let's go ahead, select the cell with the data validation where you want to have a custom message. Then go to the data validation window. I'm in Excel 07, so I'm going to go to the data tab and click data validation right here. Or just use the shortcut, up to you. When you do that, this window is going to open up. By default, you're always going to be on the settings tab or the last one you were at beforehand. And um, from there, go to the error alert tab. The error alert tab is just like it sounds. It's what defines what the error is going to be. You've got a few choices here. First of all, you don't have to show the error alert after the invalid data is entered, but that's going to almost defeat the purpose of using data validation. So keep that checked. Go down to style. Do you want it to be a stop like this, like a stop sign? A warning sign like this? Or an information sign? We're going to leave it at stop because it prevents the user from entering something. Now the next two things you have are the title and the actual error message. Now the title is um, just like what's up here in the blue strip, data validation. So when we have the error message pop up, we have the little menu bar, or whatever this is at the top. And that's where whatever you type into the title box is going to appear. So I'm just going to leave it pretty simple and just type error. Now for the error message, this is what the user is actually going to read and it's what's going to appear to them. So you want to make it descriptive so they know what they did wrong. You entered a space before or after the value in this cell. You can't have a space before or after values in this cell. And put whatever you need, make it as descriptive as you need to so that the user knows what they did wrong. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and click OK. Now, when I enter an incorrect value here, so type anything in, then put that space at the end, hit enter, we get a nice custom error message that tells me what I did wrong. We've got the title right here, just says error, and then you entered a space before or after the value in this cell. You can't have a space before or after values in this cell. So pretty basic, but the point is, now I know what I did wrong. Okay, I have a space there, so now I can fix it. So that's all you have to do to add custom error messages to a data validation in Excel. Now if you want to take the error message off, simply select the cell with the data validation error message, go back to the window, and erase all of this. Then you're going to have the basic error message. So that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. If you want to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.